He's a cleric right here in Metro Detroit, but he has a criminal history and has been on the U.S. government's radar for more than a decade now. Some are even calling him more extreme than Al-Qaeda. Now a judge wants his travel and his communications restricted. Tonight, 7 Action News investigator Jonathan Carlson is uncovering new details into just who this man really is. He's got more than 25,000 followers on Twitter. He's a hit on Facebook, and you can find him on YouTube. There's two opinions on that. The first he's a Maud Jabril, a Dearborn man in his 40s. But as the investigators would learn, he's a mysterious character with a checkered past, one that has gotten the attention of not only the U.S. government, but watchdog groups worldwide. Jabril grew up in Metro Detroit, childhood friends telling us his large family was prominent in local mosques. Both Jabril and his father are clerics. That's not the only thing they have in common. In 2003, both were indicted on federal charges ranging from identity fraud to money laundering. They would later add an elaborate plot to bribe a juror on the future trial. Around the same time, the Jabril home in Dearborn, listed in public records as this one, was raided. A neighbor across the street says she remembers that day. Well, so it might have been the first year I was here. I seen federal agents over there and cops and everything over there. Did you know what they were doing? No, they never said anything. Sentenced in 2005, Ahmad Jabril served more than six years in federal prison. But since his release, Jabril has been considered one of the most influential spiritual leaders of Islamic militant extremists, specifically in Syria, reaching his followers through those social media accounts. The London-based International Center for the Study of Radicalization and Political Violence studied Jabril and said in a report he does not openly incite his followers to violence, but he's a cheerleader for foreign fighters motivated by Islam. And many of his followers are said to be affiliated with groups that have had ties to al-Qaeda. The London report also cited a U.S. government memo released during Jabril's trial, which highlighted a radical website Jabril ran, which the feds say contained a library of fanatically anti-American sermons by militant Islamic clerics. His views were deemed so extreme by some here in the metro, he was reportedly kicked out of two Dearborn mosques. Following a violation of his parole in which he reportedly lied about his whereabouts, last month a federal judge imposed travel and social media restrictions on Jabril, allowing stricter monitoring. However, Jabril is still active on social media, posting his views almost daily. Jabril's lawyer is appealing the restrictions. When we called, she declined an interview and would not make Jabril available for comment. When we went to Jabril's last known address, we hit a roadblock. Hi there. I'm looking for Ahmad Jabril. Nobody lives here by that name. Okay. We told you that last time. Okay. We haven't been here before. I've been here, like I said, 11 years or so. They've been here since I've been here. Jabril's probation calls for him to be continuously monitored, and he can't leave Metro Detroit as the feds continue to keep a watchful eye. In Dearborn, Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. All right, thank